All right, so now I'm going to try to, my best to cut these circles out using a pair of scissors. So here we go. Okay, so since that's done, now I want to try and try out my wheels on my truck. I'm going to take a look at what I have here. I'm only going to worry about the back of, of the truck so far. And you'll see that I've tried to mark the center of these wheels. I'm going to try again and make sure that these are actually in the center before I do anything because it's very important that you don't make it off center and then your your wheel will be kind of lumpy all the way around. So once you have the center marked what you're gonna do is push it through with a pencil. Alright so I've got the hole in the center of my wheel and as you slide it on whatever you have for an axle you'll notice that it's probably not going to fit very tightly since it's cardboard after all. Now there's a couple ways to address this. The simplest one is just to take a little scrap of cardboard and you're just going to put a small hole through it and you can kind of jam that over your axle best you can. You want, it, you want to keep the hole as small as you can and keep it as tight as you can to the axle. That one doesn't spin quite so much and now this together the two of them spin even less. What I'm going to do is this. I'll take this first one this one is what's going to hold kind of the glue that we'll put into the system here. My glue dried up. Alright, so we'll get some glue on this dowel rod. And this second piece, being so nice and snug, is going to hold on to that glue. Our axle will fit, merge with that first one and all of its glue. And I have pre-cut a a small disc kind of in a hexagon shape and I'm just going to glue that to the top using a plenty of glue. Now obviously this is going to take a moment to dry and once it is dry the wheel should be well attached to whatever axle you have based on those three pieces of cardboard. If you want to have even more adhesion put more layers on the inside of the wheel so that you have two, three, four, five, six layers and if there's glue in between each one then your pencil or your dull rod will definitely hang on to your wheel then. Just be careful you don't make it so thick that it will not be able to fit through the hole that you've designed here. So now while those are drying I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm going to put the bottom piece, I'm going to put some glue and the wheel, followed by a cap piece. Now if you want to be kind of fancy, you should color this kind of like a rim before you even put it on here. Maybe color it uh, a silver color, or put some tin foil on it, or dress it up in some way. It would have been nice and fancy if I had colored this black before I had put it at, before I had mounted it on. I'll leave that to you, however. Now I'm going to worry about the other back wheel. So there it is with the wheel in place with the cover over the top. There's one more piece I uh, forgot to mention. I'm adding a spacer that goes right over the axle right next to the body of the truck and that's not going to have any glue on it at all. That's going to help keep the uh, the uh, rubber band that we might add around the outside free or just give it something that can, can that can choose to spin or remain still depending on where the most friction is as it uh, tries to axle tries to spin and here it is one last time I'm adding a, a piece that's going beneath the wheel then I'm, at, I'm getting glue on top of that right up against that dowel rod so it's the dowel rod that we want to hang on to. The, the piece here is really good at adhering to the wheel and keeping that glue where we want it. It's, everything's going to be much stronger because we've got that piece hiding down underneath.
Now I wanted to hide all those marks, so I put the wrong side on. A little more glue. And on top of the wheel, once I get it set here, is going to go one last piece of cardboard, kind of like a cap, which is going to hang on to the dowel rod even more and stiffen up that wheel just a, just a hair more. So here it is. I'm going to let this glue set, but there are four tires attached to this truck now.